Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another exciting PrestaShop tutorial. So in today's video, we'll see how to change the product price here when we update quantity in PrestaShop. So to give our customers more feedback on what they're spending. And doing this, we will also um, consider a volume discount, so um, quantity discounts. And uh, I don't know if you're aware of it, but PrestaShop has a, a bug, very nasty bug. So uh, the price will change on um, um, on a quantity update if you have a quantity discount, in this case for 10 units, but I have a, a 10 euros impact on the blue color and it doesn't work. So um, we'll get rid of this nasty bug. You can see it should be 26. Um, in this case, it would be like 24 or something. Uh, but um, no worries, we'll take care of this bug as well. So um, most of the modification, actually all the modification will be in product.js. So I have it open here and um, I'll make some room. So it's gonna be in uh, the main theme folder, JS, product.js. What I wanna change is around line 810. And um, it's where it's supposed to change the our price display block, which is this one. The first part is actually pretty easy. And uh, we can go about it first of all. Uh, wrap, uh, we'll wrap toggle so you can see it better. Okay, so it's gonna be, I'm gonna text expand here with sublime text, our price display, we're gonna change the text again, similar to what it is here. And we're gonna format the currency, and format currency is a very useful function that turns any um, floating point number into um, a properly formatted string for the current currency. And uh, what we wanna do here is just take this price, price with discounts display, and um, pass, in, uh, pass it in as a first argument, and then multiply it by the quantity wanted dot value, okay? And this is the first parameter. And the second one, we'll just go ahead and copy this thing here, so I will copy the rest. So it's currency format, sign and a blank. And I'll run missing comma. All right, I think I think this is uh, done. Okay, save. And you go back. And let's see what happens. Oh, nice. So let's go back to our base price. Okay, it seems good, but if we reach 10, uh, it's gonna go back to your original broken one. So how can we take care of this? Well, it's um, another function. Uh, this, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention, if you're using a custom template, chances are this line will be different. So uh, what you need to find is this, um, if price with discounts display is more than zero and this condition where it checks for the specific price, inside the update price function, okay? Then we're gonna look for another function. Mine is at line uh, 237, and it's a uh, find specific price, the one we saw, because uh, this is what um, generates the broken price we're seeing. So we're gonna account for that here. And this is gonna be a little bit, a little bit more complicated. So first, I'm gonna store comp ID, so the combination ID, and it's gonna be ID combination dot value, and then var combination, combination, is gonna be, so combinations from controller, it's an array that's available in this scope. So we're gonna pass in the comb ID so that we get the current one, the currently selected combination. And if there is a combination, so if type of combination is different from undefined, just to make sure it works, then we wanna check if we need to sub a percentage from the combo price. You'll see why right now. Because oh, we need to account for, let's 
bring it up a bit. Um, we need to account for the um, percentage and amount discount, right? So uh, if we uh, were not to do that, we would have a mismatch in the price. So if this, uh, it's expanding wrongly. So if this dot data and this is in my case, it should be the um, DOM element for the, um, the um, currently selected specific price for the quantity discount. So the uh, data is gonna be discount dash type. So if the discount type equals percentage, then we're gonna do something. So var combo impact is gonna be the combination dot price minus the percentage we are discounting the products for. So combination price divided by 100 times this dot data, and it's gonna be discount. So um, the data dash discount um, attribute of this element is gonna hold the discount value okay so this is gonna this is not gonna be good if uh, we are using amount here but for the percentage it's storing the exact percentage of the discount so this combo impact is now the combination price minus its uh, X percent in this case 10% that I have okay then else so if the discount type is amount uh, the combo impact is simply going to be the combination dot price. Why is that so? Why are we not um, subtracting? Well, it's because we'll be using the um, value that's stored um, for uh, the base discount. So if um, I were to reduce this product by instead of 10%, um, say 10 euros, it would be about six since the base price is um, 16. So what I'm going to do is now uh, take this value here and use it in our um, function for the pharma, format uh, currency. So I will use new price that's going to override this one so I can just comment it out if I want. New price equals format currency again this dot data and now um, I could use the value that's again showing you this value here but the problem is that it's formatted already so this is this is not going to work what we need to do is a small really small modification to product.tpl to allow um, a new data set with this um, float value not the parsed one so we'll do it in a second first uh, discount dash my value this is how I'm going to call it plus the combo impact and we're going to multiply this by our beloved quantity wanted dot value okay and then we're going to pass in the currency format and then that currency sign and then a currency black. Let's see what happens right now if I save this. So I'm gonna go up uh, and then a number because as I said we're passing in a string not a floating number so I will go back and open up product dot um, TPL here and um, I'm gonna find the data dash um, discount string that's um, in the in my theme is about line 473 but my uh, yours might be different especially if you're using a custom template so make sure you are in the if is set quantity discounts block and down here we're gonna add data discount dash my value which is gonna be so you can see um, the one it was accounting for a while ago was data real discount value and that's being converted to the price string so we want to get the floating value 
I'm going to paste it here, add brackets, and save. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's change. Good, perfect. And just to make sure it works, I'm going to add um, 20 units. And uh, I can also change if I want this one. And it's, got, it's going to account the, um, the new price for the combination as well. And you can see it's matching. So perfect. Now uh, we could go ahead and test um, the fixed amount discount, but I already did, so I know it works. Um, I don't want to keep you longer, so I guess I guess uh, this is okay for uh, today's video. And you might have noticed this um, scrolling menu here, which is from actually from my um, PrestaShop Themes crash course. So if you want to check it out, you can see the link on screen right now. All right, so I guess we are done for this video. I hope you found it useful, and if you did, please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for more great PrestaShop tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.